Well, hello and welcome back. It's been a while since I've had a chance to look at a magazine and do a review or breakdown of a magazine, primarily because I've started to wean myself off a significant number of them for, for a variety of reasons. Uh, some I had uh, received uh, complimentary, uh, either via request to try them out or... Uh, you know, I've got them for discount or whatever the case may be because uh, some folks wanted them reviewed or looked at. And others, uh, you know, obviously I was paying for, and uh, which is generally the case in any case. And they had games in them and all that sort of good fun stuff. And I uh, wrote an article a while back that I posted on the Big Board blog, which is probably how you found this, uh, that uh, talked about all the different magazines and why I was keeping some and not others, etc., etc., etc. And I had said that I was not interested in following along uh, with the War Diary, Quarterly War Gaming Journal anymore for a, a variety of reasons. But uh, they had a sale on recently, and I uh, thought I would try, and this is a $20 a year subscription, I want to say. Uh, no game comes with it. It's purely articles. And uh, I was particularly interested in reading Vance von Bory's uh, Designing Demansk Shield article. And so I thought, hey, what the heck, I'll, uh, I'll drop a, a few bucks on a, on a copy and we'll check it out. And I will tell you that I was pleasantly surprised. The, uh, the writing roster has changed or the author's roster has changed significantly for the better. And uh, I have enjoyed this uh, quite a lot. So... I did read the Design Debianske Shield uh, by Vance von Boris. Let me hold that up a little bit so you can see. It's a little tricky to read. I, I've got a different camera phone that I'm using today. Uh, the Triumph and Tragedy article is uh, a little uh, what-if scenario that uh, can get you up and running fast. But, you know, frankly, that's such a fun beer and pretzel crazy game you would just play the full game anyway but if you want something that's a little bit smaller uh by all means knock yourself out i've not read the commissaris in town and we'll show you some of these articles in a second uh there's new new, new scenarios in here and you know when jack wrote this it's a it's a nice solid article too it's not just here's a scenario so that's good stuff uh john burt's article on enemy action Arden actually uh prompted me to go you know what i need to pull my head out of my backside and get this game on the table so i'm hoping that i will play that as my annual uh acknowledgement of the battle of the bulge I uh, struggle with bulge games in general and have uh, been underwhelmed by most that I've played. I think, uh, well, we'll leave that for another time. But this this particular article uh, was well written enough to, sp and very detailed and long uh, article. It's uh, eight almost eight pages uh, that uh, got me to get focused on pulling out and playing the uh, one of the solo scenarios. Uh Another little uh, review here. Oh, this is a continuation, actually. I think this is part, yeah, part two. Uh, and then the, the long uh, conversation with Vance von Boris, which was just a treat to read. He sounds like a really nice uh, gentleman. I'm quite enamored with uh, a lot of the work uh, that he does. Um, but in particular, the EFS system, while I have my frustrations with it, I, I do enjoy it. And I'm hoping that the opposed gameplay that I'm trying to run... Uh, here with this will uh, help me better understand the game versus just a solo play of it. Uh, another great uh, article here that uh, digs into uh, some variants for uh, Rome versus Carthage, which is probably a uh, very opportune because I think the, the Hannibal Rome versus Carthage reprint is right around the corner, so that'd be kind of cool too. <laughs> All right, a couple of bits and pieces here. Uh, I, I did not read the, the Gunslinger article, so I have no comment on that at all. So uh, some good history and background in this article, some nice uh, maps and diagrams for the Demiant Shield. Goes into some interesting uh, discussions on the, the design choices there, so I quite enjoyed that. Uh, you know, this is a nice strategy article as well, but I've yet to get into that. I, I actually own the reprint of... Uh, Soviet Dawn. So this will be good to read at some point when I do get that game to the table. Uh, here's these, uh, these uh, Jack Green uh, articles. And then the long, 
a long review for enemy action Arden, and I would say if you were questioning whether you should buy this game or not, uh, dropping down the money to buy this magazine and read this article is probably worth it. That is a fairly comprehensive uh, review. All right. <coughs> Uh, this is a, an AAR that goes into quite the exhaustive detail on gameplay, pretty pretty nifty. I believe this is a BAR title, I think. Uh, if not, it's something akin to that. And it's an extensive, uh, extensive after-action write-up. That's probably every bit of 3,000 words, 2,000 words or more. And then there's conversation with Vance von Boris. So this is the interview that I talked about, some of his other titles. See, I didn't know he, uh, he designed this uh, Air Assault on Crete, one of his first games. And I'll be... Uh, Keen to get that to the table. I picked up a copy of that recently. Uh, it's made me curious about if he will ever get the opportunity to get some of his uh, Desert Warfare games reprinted. Sounds like there's some excellent uh, content there to be uh, uh, reproduced and uh, brought up to modern day standards and cleaned up a little bit. So that'll be cool. So as you can tell, it's a pretty decent sized magazine, 50, 60 pages. It's uh, pretty well put together. A uh, little, uh, little miss, uh, little miss here with the edges uh, of the the top of the top of the, the magazine. It's well put together. The glue, uh, it all sits nicely, and all that sort of stuff. So, quite enjoyed it. So, uh, I'm glad I plopped the cash down to try and grab this, and uh, I look forward to reading the next one. So, thank you, Roy, for uh, getting this shipped out to me very quickly. And everybody else, if you're interested, you should uh, take take the time to have a look for yourself. All the best.